welcome to soft reviewed in this video i just want to show you like how you can use gpt5 even if you ran out of your daily limits in a free account because as you can see from the official documentation uh, chat gpt free tier accounts can only send up to 10 messages every five hours so once you send like 10 messages then you have to wait five hours and replenish after reaching this, the limits chat will automatically use the mini version of the model until your limit resets. Free tier users also have access to one GPT-5 thinking message per day. So you can use GPT-5 thinking as well, which is like a bit more advanced model that thinks. This model is not thinking. So for that, you just need to, I believe, enable this wink mode and then you can chat with that. Even that you will only get one per day so that's the limit for free users right so what if you want let's say 15 messages right what will you do in that case you don't have to worry because uh, you can go to uh, this website that is copilot.microsoft.com or if you are using windows you can just click on this button this will automatically open this window just like this here as you can see in the toggle you have the option to like switch to gpt5 right so this is the smart gpt5 version if you are signed into your account you have even more options see you can do even deep research and there is like deep pink mode but for most use cases gpt5 would be enough so that's available not just that it also gives you like gpt image model which is really great because i think most of us are paying for gpt5 or the OpenAI $20 plan just to use image, right? Just to use the image editing feature. What makes this different is that for iterative editing, we can use this. Means, for example, if you use a paid third party service, even then you don't get that uh, ChatGPT will have the context of the previous edit that you want to do. After generate a new image, the other services will totally forget what happened and you will have to start again with that here we can create uh, images as well all you have to do is give the prompt right you can go here and click on upload an image if you already have that i just uploaded this image and i asked to make him look realistic then as you can see the changes that it made right then again uploaded like a logo and i wanted that to paste to his t-shirt right and i was uh, like wondering whether it can only do this vertical image so i just wanted uh, to convert it like a 16 is 9 aspect ratio and it uh, did convert that into this 16 is 9 aspect ratio as well you also get the image generation feature as well not only just the gpt5 so if you are not on the paid plan and want to extend your use both with the gpt images and chat gpt5 then this is like a really good alternative by the time when you completely use up all the limits here then you can again go back to chat gpt by the time it will again refresh let's say for after five hours right just want to quickly show you like uh, this option is available if you want more limits on both image generation and gpt5 if you enjoyed this tip please don't forget to share and subscribe for more future videos again thank you for watching and have a great day Click that thumb.